Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more My Player Career. This is episode 3, and we're playing it for Sunderland now. So guys, if you still are enjoying this My Player Career and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. So in today's episode, we have the first match against Arsenal at the Stadium of Light. We're going to be leading the line with Jermaine Defoe, hopefully. And we also have a match against Liverpool. So, we're currently in Season 1. Still, it is the 30th of October 2016. So, let's reca uh, recap the Premier League table. And let's sort of go through some of the stats. So, the main objective for this series is to win a major European domestic league title. Maybe the Premier League. Maybe um, Serie A. Maybe in Spain. Germany. And I want to try and win... The Champions League. That's the main goal for this my player career. I am a striker. I have the uh, well. I've got the number twenty nine, but hopefully we can move that to the number uh, seven now because I've got a, I've sort of got a justification for that. So looking at the Premier League, only ten games have been played. Chelsea are first, Arsenal second, Swansea third, Spurs fourth. Uh, Everton fifth, and I'm currently sitting in seventh. I've made the move to move, uh, made the decision to move to Sunderland. Now, um, I did explain this in the first episode, but I've elected to play for Austria, the country where my grandfather played from, just simply to mix things up a bit. Because over the last couple of years, I've always been playing with Australia, and I thought we'll start in Salzburg. I'll we'll sort of role play it like I had my youth academy there. I had my um youth career there, I had a pretty decent, uh, what was it, uh, pre-season, and then we rose to the first team and had two starts for Salzburg, and we did score. So, I'll quickly go through how we've been progressing, because I have simulated some off-camera. So, we're currently 19 years of age, I'm a 75 rated striker, I'm worth £7 million. I arrived from Salzburg for 6.5 uh, 6 in January, we are in October. We've still got some other major fixtures against United and Chelsea, but hopefully I can move to a top uh, Premier League side, maybe... Um, some will, will get some interest from me, because um, I do plan to try and move in January. So, in the EFL Cup, I've played two matches and scored three. In the Premier League so far, I've played five, and I've scored eight just against the lower league Premier League side. So, I'm doing all right for Sunderland at the moment. Let's go through the strikers, and I'll quickly just show you my other competitions. So, we've got Jermaine Defoe, of course. We've got Anitra B. We've got Joel here and Josh. Um, Sunderland have a very good side uh, in FIFA. A lot, of, a lot of us are going up in stats. Adnan Janazai as well. Jack Rodwell's been very good. Darren Gimson. Now, uh, so I'll get back onto the topic of Larson in a minute. So here is the uh, Sunderland team. Hopefully you can make top four this year with me. Uh, I am obviously controlling one player, but I'm incredibly influential. Hopefully we can uh, go on and maybe, maybe even finish in the top half. I don't think we're going to win any major. We could have an FA Cup or an Air Force Cup run as well. So I'll quickly talk about Larson. I actually quickly had a look to see who was the number seven uh, at uh, Sunderland. And it's Sebastian Larson. Uh, Larson, a 31-year-old, 75 overall. His contract is expiring in nine months and he hasn't made... A, a debut in any competition in the AFL, in the Premier League, and the FA Cup. So, I don't usually like changing my number, but seeing his contract is expiring in seven months, and he hasn't made a, an appearance, I've called up David Moyes, he's told me he's going to be moving him on, so I've made the decision to go back to the number seven. As I'm a striker, the number nine probably would be more suited, but I like the number seven. When I played football, I played in the number seven role. I was the number seven. But for this series, I want to play as a striker. In FIFA, I'd rather play as a striker. So we're going to be having the number seven. I still quite like those messy boots because it's an all red sort of kit. But that is pretty much it at the moment for the Premier League. I think I've scored eight goals so far. I've simulated some matches off camera. Like There's no point of me watching, watching me score one goal <laughs> against Crystal Palace, if I'm being honest. Um, so here is my accomplishments, um, 75 rated like I said, uh, my career, here it is at the moment, you're most looking to pause and just sort of have a look at it, actions wise, uh, once we get to January I probably can hand in my transfer request, so David Moyes wants me to score 5 goals this season, I've already done that, want me to set up a minimum of 4, probably need to get some more assists and get a better match sort of rating, um, how well are we sort of doing everywhere else? 
Um, let's have a quick look at this team stats. I don't think it's sort of necessary. Let's actually have a look at the other league uh, competitions just real quickly. So FA Cup hasn't pro progressed. We're in the quarters against uh, Swansea in the Carling Cup. Champions League, Europa League, we're not in Austria. Obviously, with my international side, we've got some World Cup, uh, World Cup qualifiers. Player stats-wise, I'm currently the top goal scorer of the Premier League with eight goals for Sunderland, followed by uh, Chelsea's Eden Hazard, uh, Costa, and uh, Harry Kane, Cazorla are up there as well. Who's up there with the assists for me? Obviously, because I've scored a lot of goals, there must be someone up there with the assists as well. Defoe, yeah, Defoe, oh no, Defoe's actually not too high up there, it's uh, Jack Rodwell and Defoe have given me the clean sheet, uh, the uh, assists. So let's get stuck into Arsenal here today, it's going to be a hell of a task, if we can pick up any amount of points against the Gunners here today, I will be more than happy. So we're going to be playing at the Stadium Light, of course, I've changed the difficulty to World Class for this series, we're not playing on Legendary, because I feel like... World class is better for my player. Uh, we're playing in the rain, so I'm going to be leading the line with the Nietzsche B. So no Jermaine Defoe, Catamol, uh, Jack Rodwell, we've got Jones, we've got O'Shea, we've got Pickford in goal, and Mohamed El Neni is posturing up for Arsenal there in the right. Alrighty, guys, welcome to the Stadium of Light. Welcome to Sunderland. We're playing at the five at the back formation. We have the kickoff. Let's quickly see who Arsenal are playing here today. They're playing Danny Welbeck up front, because all over the cam, Sanchez on the left, Walcott on the right, Elneny Coquelin in the midfield, Monreal, Gabriel Paulista, Holding, Debushi, and Ospina. Okay, so no Koscielny, no Mustafi. That centre-back pairing is weaker. Same with Debushi, no Bellerin, no Peter Cech. They've Brought a pretty weakened squad. However, they do have uh, Cazola, Sanchez, Walcott, and Danny Welbeck up front. Going forward, they're going to be deadly. Um, but in the defense, we might be able to nick a goal here or there. Let's get stuck into Arsenal, boys. Sunderland on the attack. I'll see if I can try and build something here. It's always difficult in my player. Oh, someone's just got nutmegged. And Jack Rob Wells put a bad ball to me. A bad pass, if I'm being honest. It does take a little bit longer to build up highlights and sort of passing stuff. Because you sort of just have to sit back and relax and let the AI sort of do it. I prefer playing with one player because it's a lot more difficult. It's, it'd be too easy if I was just playing, uh, controlling the whole team. So hopefully we can have uh, a decent match. Sanchez. On the ball, whipping and weaving. Holding up play quite well. Welbeck's in the box for Arsenal. He's got his shot off. Sanchez has hit it on the volley. You can see the water coming straight off the pitch. And it's Jordan Pickford with the save. That's, an, that's a great save from the young Englishman. Hopefully he can do that many more times this season. Arsenal back on the press. They're feeding it out here to Rob Holding. Sanchez, I think it's sort of quelled down this attack. Oh no, they've got it in. Come on, Sunderland, let's get this quick clear. He's popped it up to the top to me. Walcott gets a shot on target against Pickford. It just sucks sometimes just sitting back and just watching, uh, just watching your side get dominated on the ball. But there's not much you really can do about it up front. I'm just sort of waiting for Sunderland to get possession back. Even a nil-nil result would be good against Arsenal. Rob Holding gets his shot blocked. And I'm on the counter here. We've got a couple of Sunderland players as well. And each of be back to Simpsy. Jack Rodwell. Oh, Jack Rodwell. Oh, we've ran into the line of Debushi. And it looks like Mohamed El Neni's going to get it clear. Still nil-nil. Sunderland on the counter-attack. Myself and Anitia be pushing forward. I can't get past Monreal, though. Welbeck. Mohamed El Neni. Santi Cazola gets his shot away. And it looks like we're going to go into half-time with a nil-nil. The, the sort of, like, you don't want to drop too deep as well. Because then, when we when we break, you're, gonna, you're not going to be quick enough to go too far behind. We've probably squandered, honestly, one half chance. We've just been shrugged off the ball here. But we've won a free kick, so we can get some white ankle tape. Let's play this quickly and try and get a goal. No, we can't. Try and get a goal before half time. Let's have a quick look at the stats. So it's nil-nil against Arsenal. Nothing to be ashamed about there. We've got good sort of um, stuff at the moment. So they've had four to three on target. They've dominated his possession. We've had no shots, which is understandable when you're facing a team of Arsenal's calibre as Sunderland. 
Here we go on the attack. An HEB. Sunderland have kind of pushed up for this. <gasps> I've just beaten him. Come on. Yes! On the counter-attack. 1-0 up against Arsenal. I've just made it 1-0 just before the 53rd. Our first chance of the match, and I've converted it. Oh, what a ball in. And Ospina will be gutted. What have I done here? I've got a ball from an HEB. I think it was Rob Holding. And then a nice little cheeky finesse from the left there. Jack Robwell. And now that's my ninth goal of the Premier League. I do believe we're 1-0 up against the Gunners. Any amount of points. Alston Wenger is furious. Uh, Middlesbrough and Bournemouth went in for me when I was at Salzburg. But I ultimately chose Sunderland. Um, I think Bournemouth actually offered me more money. But in FIFA, I kind of calculated and thought that uh, Sunderland was a better quality side. Santi Gazzola whips it wide to Debushi. The Frenchman trying to create something here. Arsenal trying to get back into it. But McNeg, oh, that's, a call. That's, a, that's on me if I don't get this back. Oh, my God. Sanchez lashes at it. That was on me. That was nearly my fault. We're playing a five at the back. We just can't seem to hold the midfield. I might be able to win this header. No way. Jermaine Defoe's on the pitch now, though. That's some good news. Walcott. Oh, Pickford. What a save from the youngster. He rose to the occasion there. I'm half tempted to sort of drop back. I'm very aggressive in this. I'm sort of like a, um, a Diego Costa sort of tracking back. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm not going to get the ball off here. Ramsey beats me off it. Yeah, I try to aim to be a sort of Luis Suarez, Sergio Aguero S striker. Look how many balls are. Look how many players are just like pressing him. That's insane. If I can get the ball to Defoe, he's going to be able to break here. We're going to whip it wide. Yeah, hopefully I can track back like Diego Costa, be more aggressive in my play. Uh, I ideally want to be a really clinical finisher like Aguero, like Suarez. And hopefully try and get a big move in January. I would love to play for my boyhood club, which would be Manchester United. Also have a soft spot for Real Madrid. Oh, we might be able to score another here. That's a bad ball in, what I call it. Oh, how is it my fault, that? <laughs> That's a bad ball in Arsenal on the attack. Walcott, left too much room, Cazola, Jordan Pickford defending for his life here, there's no one at the byline, if we can get the ball up here, we're going to be able to counter and I'm going to be able to score, come on someone, just get it up to me, oh Defoe, oh, I'm not going to be able to turn it though, oh what, yeah I'm technically offside, I, I understand that, However, in career mode, that doesn't usually happen except for my player. Interesting. I do that all the time in uh, career mode. So it's technically offside, but I guess it's a really good... You guys have seen me score from like the halfway line. Go one on... Well, not score from the halfway line. Go on the halfway line and then counter one on one. I want to try and get another goal here. I reckon we can. We've got Arsenal on the ropes. I'm going to try and slip through Jermaine Defoe. Oh, not bad, but a 1-0 uh, victory over Arsenal. We're going to take those points any day. That's awesome. Uh, playing as an attacker is not just about goal scoring. It's keeping possession. Yeah, I did lose a bit of possession. So I picked up the goal, and Katamol picked up the assist. Let's have a quick look at the stats, uh, if we can. Where are the stats? I guess they're hidden in here somewhere. Yeah, what else are we... Yeah, they're the match stats. I'm just sort of looking at... Oh, this is myself in depth. 26 touches, passing percent 95, passes completed 19, one key pass. I have a lot of touches all around the pitch. And that was... Oh, my shooting. Oh, it just went straight <laughs> into the top left there. That was awesome. Okay, so we had one... Sh we converted our one shot we had on target. Arsenal had 6-4 to four on the counter. 42% possession to their 58. They definitely deserve points in that. However, Sunderland have claimed the three. Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode against Liverpool away. The only notable change on my person is that I now have uh, uh, ankle 
tape. <laughs> I've got the wide ankle tape now. So I've gone up in stats a little bit. I'm currently worth 9.5 million pounds. I'm 76 rated. I've done the training off camera because it is a little bit tedious and there's not really a point of uh, showing it, if I'm being honest. I think I started at like 71, 72 at Salzburg. I've really shot up in stats in this first season. So looking at the Premier League so far, 13 games have been played in total. Chelsea are first, Sunderland are second. We are second in the Premier League because I've been leading the line. I've been such a prolific striker. We managed to score before against Arsenal. They're third. Uh, Swansea fourth, Man City fifth, uh, Bournemouth, Southampton, Hull in the relegation scrap. So in January, I probably will hand in my transfer request and hopefully try and move to uh, a bigger club off the back. I'm still, actually, I'll go back and check. I'm not entirely sure if I'm still the top goal scorer. I'm doing very well. Yeah, 11. Uh, I'm currently leading. And that's why, uh, that's why Sunderland are in second. So hopefully we can score here today against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. And hopefully they play like a stronger squad because we're doing very, very well. Uh, I think I'm going to play in the Sunderland white. They can play in their red, of course. We're playing at Anfield. So I'm leading the line with a Nietzsche. Uh, Jermaine Defoe isn't playing. So we've got Katamol, Rodwell, Chirikov, uh, Oviedo, Denier, Pickford, um, which is really, really great. I think they've got Paddy McNair as the centre-back as well. They're playing a five at the back, and uh, I'm up front. Let's get stuck into Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Okay, guys, welcome to the Premier League. Welcome to the match against Liverpool. This is going to be an absolute cracker. Coutinho's playing. Hopefully we can score away here at Anfield. That's going to be tough. We had the home advantage against Arsenal before. So they're playing a strong squad. Firmino, Coutinho, Mane leading the line. Henderson, Stewart and Lucas Lever in the midfield. That's a little bit uh, weak. Um, no, obviously, Henderson and no Adam Lallana. Moreno, Ragnar, Calavan, uh, Ragnar, Calavan, uh, Klein. Who's Reedwald? And then Courtois. Reedwald, I think that's how you say his name. Who is this? I don't know the uh, Liverpool Youth Academy in and out. He could be just like a Youth Academy product. But who is he? Okay, from looking at his kit, Jero Reedwald, he looks like an Ajax lad. Um, maybe Liverpool actually signed him in the transfer window. But Sunderland have the kickoff. Let's do this, boys. Myself and Mane, the two former Salzburg boys. Oh, Oviedo's popped it into the box. No one's there to pick up the crumbs. Yeah, Sado Mane and myself played for uh, Salzburg. So we got that in common. I've spoken to him in the uh, the warm-up about it. Liverpool on the attack instantly. Coutinho breaking away. Has Firmino in the box. His ball is whipped wide of Firmino Pickford with the grab. All right, Sunderland on the counter-attack. I've got a Nietzsche be nearby. Ah, I mistimed the... Uh, the, ta the pass completely. I needed to move the ball quicker. Firmino dummying Minair. Coutinho turns his man. And how has Pickford held that? I don't believe it. I'm going to try and push to like the far left here. If you can look in the camera. If we can get it out here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's what we really want. Come on, Anichibi. I'm going to cut back here. Oh, Lucas. Man, he's tough. I'm a little bit... I have a very light frame in FIFA. I went with, like, the sort of lightest build so I could be quick. So maybe I should have gone normal. Um, it's usually not a problem, but I just got shrugged off by Lucas Laver there. I'm trying not to drop too deep, but we sort of need... Oh, yeah, don't pass to me. Chirkov, the former Bayern man, smashed by Ragnar. <laughs> I love calling him by his first name. I love the name Ragnar. Huge fan of Viking. Right, here we go. Oviedo on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass it to me. I can get it back to you, my friend. <gasps> Oviedo. And each should be in the box. Oh, yes. Jack Rodwell puts it into Rosette. I was asking for the little layoff. Oh, it actually wasn't? Was it Jack Rodwell? Or was it that right back? Maquino. I think that's how you say his name. Coutinho back at it. We're sort of just sitting back here watching Liverpool do their thing. We played a five at the back formation, so that's always a bit of a pain in the ass. It's really to us to try and break. Looks like it's going to be nil-nil at uh, halftime. There's going to be a yellow... Nope, there's going to be nothing dished out. I thought it might have been a, a yellow there for Stewart on Jack Rodwell. It's currently halftime here today against Liverpool. We had one shot. Uh, who was it? It wasn't me, was it? Uh, it must have been... Um, 
yeah, it was Rodwell who hit it. So Liverpool have had two shots to one on target. Of course, they've had more possession because we like to uh, sit back. I've, yeah, it, it, well, the, the manager, Mac, what David Moyes has said to me is try and keep your position. But I, I, I explained to him, we sort of need to drop back because um, I want to try and dictate the play a bit more. I'll try and keep my position, Moisey. And Emery Chan has come on to structure that midfield. Stewart has come off. He did have a warning before. Emery Chan finds Henderson. And how have Liverpool not prevailed there? That's mind-blowing. The mind boggles. <gasps> oh, my God. Pickford. You can't do this to me. Then my heart is going to fucking give out. Henderson with another corner kick. Firmino cops it on the chest. Keeps on going. And how have they gotten away with that? Anitra be trying to get the header. Gets... <laughs> gets toppled over. Liverpool, back at it. They've been doing very well. They just haven't been clinical enough trying to finish. Whew! That's a free kick. Coutinho, just outside the box. If oh, I was going to say, he probably should bank this. Looks like Lalana's come off. Honestly, any amount of points against Liverpool here today, especially away at Anfield, I'll be bloody happy with if I'm being honest. I'm back on the ball, see if I can build up something now. And each of Come on. Oh, I can't get to it. <laughs> I rose to the occasion. I completely mistimed it, though. I didn't actually call for it. I, I wasn't expect. Oh, come on, let's get Mane here. Yeah, I didn't call for it. I was actually surprised when the ball came in. Come on, Anichibi. Make a run, my friend. I've just put Anichibi through. Can he put me through with the back heel? Oh, I got a foot in, but Ragnar got the pass off. Yeah, fuck calling him Calavan. Call him Ragnar if we can. Anichibi, back to me. I'm in the box. I'm through. Oh, Loris Curious with the charge out and the grab. That was the first sort of real chance of the match, and that was in the 70th. Oviedo and myself have been playing really well this match. Check out that intricate play. We're just reading each other's minds. I haven't had the best match, honestly. But maybe we might be able to pull something here from the death. Gibson. I'm just going to go for this. I've got so much space. Moreno with the block. That was too ambitious, if I'm saying so myself. Moreno saw it from a mile away. I probably had more time. I sort of rushed it. We've only had a limited number of chances here. Oviedo has just found me. Come on, Sunderland. Oh, I can still get back on this somehow. I'm going to wait for Anichibi to get into the box. Someone's at the back post. Gibson! Nathaniel Klein headers it away. We're going to have one last header. I'm going to try and get it to here. Get it away from Loris. Curious. Mane's gotten to the header. It's going to go into death. It's going to go into Fergie time. Oh, Loris Curious with the grab. Catamol. Oviedo, no! I was trying to get to myself. To be fair, a nil-nil result against Liverpool is nothing to be ashamed about. I completed, I didn't play as well as I did in the Arsenal game. But a points against uh, points against Liverpool I'm happy with. Playing as attacker, so we lost more possession. You're too gifted. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, I lost possession really too much this match. 3-1, to 6-4. to four. Uh, I think Liverpool deserved some sort of points in that match. Oh, well, uh, technically they did get some with the nil-nil, but they could have they could have really deserved the, uh, the three, if I'm being honest. But, guys, it is time to end episode three of the My Player Career here today. So thank you very much for watching. If you guys still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourselves some cheap and reliable games, maybe even Football Manager, PSN, and Xbox codes for FIFA, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. I do believe we have Man United and Chelsea next in the calendar. Then we have the January transfer window, so I'm probably going to try and push a move away from Sunderland. I am the Premier League's top goal sco scorer, so I'm sure I'm a, uh, a hot prospect. Yeah, that's when Adam Lallana picked up his yellow against me. I dropped to the ground like a sack of shit. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Mares.
whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous with the layup. Marco Royce. Holy shit.